Okay, let me wrap up with uh, kind of a cool little thing that I'm going to put into my storyboard library. And this is called Fractured Images. Or that's what I call it anyway. So let me give you a real quick demo of what this is. I'm going to go into slideshow mode here. And this is a picture. But you'll notice that it's kind of chopped up, right? And you can do other effects and things like that, work and play with the colors and get some interesting and different effects. Here's kind of another little example. This is a picture and these are some shapes. I'll show you how to do this in just a minute, but as you can see, it's kind of an interesting way to take regular picture image content and just kind of make it, you know, a whole bunch more interesting and engaging. You guys aren't going to believe how easy this is to do and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So here all I've basically done is drawn out some shapes. These are just rectangles. Actually let's just do this. Let's delete that and let me show you kind of a couple of quick tricks and stuff to do this. So I'm going to insert shapes and I'm going to insert me a rectangle like that. Then I'm going to press the control key and I'm going to drag this down to duplicate it. Right? And yeah, put just a little bit of space in between. And I'm going to do that again. Let's do it again. I'm just holding the control key and dragging out duplicates. Okay? To make it a little more interesting, I think what I'm going to do is, you know, maybe kind of fracture it, <laughs> as the kind of title implies. You can play with this or essentially do it however you want. But the bottom line is all I'm doing is playing with a couple of shapes here. Right? So now what I want to do is highlight everything and group them. Oh wait, before I do that, I think I'll take the outline off. Right? Uh, you could leave the outline on if that's the effect you want, and you'll see how that works in a second, but I'm just going to go ahead and group them. Okay, and now I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to Format Shape. And instead of a solid fill, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a picture or gradient and I'm going to pick a picture. And you can pick any old picture you want, pretty much. It works a little bit better if your group here is kind of the similar dimensions to a particular image, right? But that's, uh, that's basically it. Not a whole lot of monkeying around going on there. And what I have is I've created like several of these. Uh, and again, these are just shapes. Uh, here's another shape one. This one uses um, rounded rectangles. If you guys don't know how to make these, let me show you how to do that real quick. We'll use this as a rounded rectangle. And you'll notice this has a nice smooth round end. And the way you get that is you move the little yellow dot here. And you can make these kind of cool, very rounded rectangles. <laughs> right? So that's kind of how you do that and you can stack them up any way you want. They don't have to line up perfectly. Kind of keep a fairly tight together so that the effect kind of works and shows through. Uh, but when you're all kind of finished laying out however it is you'd want it, again you just group them, right click, select them all, right click group, and then change the fill. Format shape, and under fill you just change it to a picture and there you go pretty cool what do you guys think of that hello friends i'm professor hans von Puppen. thank you for watching this video now that you've watched and enjoyed it i would like you to do one of several things you can do them all if you like 
First, subscribe, so you can always know when there are new videos added, and you will never miss anything new again. You can also like it. It's always nice to be liked, don't you think? Everyone likes to be liked. And you can like this video as well. And finally, you can share. Yes, let everyone know how great you thought this video was. Tell the world about it. Shout it from the highest rooftops or just click the share button. Share it on your website with your friends. All the buttons you need are right down there below or up there or right here somewhere. I can't see them from this side. 